What's up guys, Danger King Random here, back at it again with another banger video. I need to stop saying banger video, it's the garbage intro, that's it, so we got my intro, let's get into the video. Carrying on from where we left off, trying to find her son, grandson, who joined the Regalas Rebels. Yeah, I guess we're trying to convince him to leave the Rebels, either that or he was going to leave the Rebels and got tied up. I'm not sure which is the case. I think I may have missed something considering the we have to someone who was tied up to a pole. So, um, you may have been a traitor to the rebels in the end, I don't know. Blood's dried. Someone was wounded here a while ago. But not fatally. Well, it wouldn't appear that way. No. Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. What oh, wood? Oh, this wood. This is wood. Okay. Take my hand, Nicola. Maybe it's wood and mud. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? How would I think from that so grand so? strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. she was just someone captured. Made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. God Did you see where they went? Himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Okay, Do okay. You know where his squad went. I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll All right. we'll pick the search up That's from there. That's where we're going then. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cabo attacked her squad. No. He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. Okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit. Then I'll report into Can the I? grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about Seems that. like it, yeah. to go to Fall's Edge. However that is. I really need to override a new mount. I was like, oh, new mount, but no, I haven't learnt to override pulse riders yet. There's us in a different cauldron. And it's just claw striders here. Acid claw striders this time. Plasma will make quick work of it. If I had plasma. Right, you know what? Run and don't look back. Run. Run like your life may depend on it. Cool. I guess they don't care if you run away. Great. See what we've got here. 
One of these. Kinda look like those monkey machines from the trailer. No. Yes? No? Oh, oh yeah, those are those monkey machines from one of the trailers. I was expecting those monkey machines to be tiny though. Like, someone to where if you overrid one, you could have it be a nice little pet that would stay with Aloy. Theoretically. Hello, what's this rumour then? Your actions are known across the lowlands, Easterner. You've aided our marshals and our chief. I, for one, am grateful. So I'll tell you what. What I see, what I know, I will share. That way, you won't be running blind in these parts. I should probably tell you. Tread carefully if you're heading south. One of our settlements was taken over by rebels. Uh, not good. We haven't been able to carve them out yet. They'll shoot you on sight. Thanks for the warning. Nothing I can't handle, though. Sounds like the Tamaras could use a hand getting their village back. Maybe I can scout out the camp on the Yeah, you here. can give them a hand I later, though. Let's restock all our supplies. Okay, I guess I don't need to. Keep heading south then. Southwest. Okay, this is an old ruin. Feeling exposed out here, without the cover of the jungle. That was completely unnecessary to kill it, but, yeah. Onto the bridge. Acid bristle back, that's new. I'll head up this way. Okay, hanging on. Got a good 30 minutes after this part, so we've got plenty of time to do all of this quest. Like I should be waiting for me in there. It's quite a big village they've take the rebels have taken over. Oh, that wasn't taken over by the rebels. <laughs> That's still on our side on the side of the lowlands. Desert, sky, and lowlands. It needs to be desert, sky, and jungle. Or does this leave the jungle? Oh. I'd to call it the lowlands when it's probably at the same height as the desert clans. You'd think if they're calling it the lowlands, then it's lower than all the other clans' territories. Oh, we got anything interesting here? Yeah. Got two unknowns in here. I'm telling the truth. Listen to him, Oroke. Not a chance. How the traitor. <laughs> the war might have gone against the Darwin, but this is the battle of the Ooh. 
Any soldier of war has sharpened their skills. Alright, uh, how do we get to this in nine? Go to my stash real quick and check it out. Merchant, let's sell some stuff. I basically just use merchants for selling stuff at this point, don't I? Oh, a new kind of ingot. Silver. Bronze. And iron. As per usual, I will just set all traps. And if I could, I would sell all my rocks. I tell you what, I am kind of annoyed that we don't have the eye that pops up when you're crouching to tell you how hidden you are. I, I wish you had that. Huh. I'll create jobs for them. In the name of the ten. Right, so that's the unknown. Oh, was that it? A merchant? Oh, that's not much of an interesting unknown. Oh, we're going on with the quest then. Right, like this settlement. What is the point of this thing? The rebels are going to attack. Trust what he says. I vouch for him. Sorry, Chapman. Your word on the. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. I see. So you've enlisted the chief's champion in your dull bladed efforts. You must be Cavo then. Oh, I'm now the chief's champion as well as champion for that. Trying to right his mistakes, or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Falls okay. Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaro's support from the Lowland clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. 
Yeah, a lot of people just thought they were getting revenge against the Kaja, not killing their own people to get more troops. The truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I mean, it looks like the bats are opening up to, to jump out into the water the below stays anyway. Here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. Cool. Let's do this. Was there something else? I see you at the camp. I'm trying to actually have to wait till the press over and Decker's gone. Fire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. So you'll soon find out they if it's true. Already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. Friends of Cavo's. I'm going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. One of them has got a shield. The fire without it. Trouble here! Two blast things, oh, three. His shield's gotten stronger. One, two, three, attack. One, two, three, attack. Oh, I guess that was enough to kill him. And we got two more rebels. One, two, three, attack. Critical strike. Hold on, didn't you see this area in the trailer? I could be completely wrong about that and imagining things in fact, probably am. But still, one, two, three. I can't track and drop the up there. These rebels waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him you're okay. I'll stash this away for later. Well, last time you had to wait at some minute, got glitched and never progressed past that point, even after Reed progressed past that point and beat and done the quest. And the marker just stayed forever. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. A 
Hey, Lori, that's a bit of a mistake, isn't it? Lead the way. I mean, what if he is a traitor? Don't betray us. And why is my valor surge? Why does it say locked? Isn't my outfit? Seems a bit unlikely that it would be the outfit you're wearing, but you never know. Up. Oh, it's not equipped. Why isn't it equipped? Why didn't I have a valor surge equipped? That's weird. Alright, maybe it unequipped itself at one point. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. Well, tough. You joining us, dude? Cover that as a dye material. everyone no oh, rebels yeah. no machine Could what did i say it. over there by the falls Blood up the if that thing runs through falls edge the village stands no chance then we stop right here on your lead aloy nothing will stand in our way now grab your gear This crafting didn't take so long. Pretty powerful shot right there, Behemoth, dude. It's not like I haven't fought you guys before. Although, I don't believe I've fought a Behemoth and humans at the same time before. Hey, it didn't destroy the tree. Like one would expect from a machine like the Bikini. Oh, great. I'm missing some of the right tools to work with. Make as many as I can. Be nice Soria outfit. I can't. Uh, Let's give that another go, shall we, guys? And not die on the second time, man. We, we don't want to die second time, man, do we? We can do it if we try. Ah, oh, I forgot to click X for continue. No. Rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, by the falls. Blood off the tent. If that thing runs through the falls, I'll change. Go to Behemoth. Nothing will stand in our way now! 
is really tough fight. Why does it just not crash sometimes? Don't let her escape. Oh, don't worry, I'm not trying to escape. I'm trying to kill the behemoth. to die again. I don't know how I'm supposed to survive this all. I can't even see what's going on. I don't have any health potions. Medicine. Oh, thank goodness for that. Well, I don't want to just keep showing myself dying, so skip to an defeat, I guess. minutes or so Careful. you're bleeding I'll be fine what matters is the attack was stopped because of your warning you saved many lives today come on you certainly changed this dude guess that's what happens when you realize the guy that you thought I was, was lying and a traitor actually turned out to not be lying and just saved everyone. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. Yeah. What are you doing with this blood for blood quest? I'll just go and collect up everything around. The battlefield. Oh, it's more valuable stress, my bad. Whew, it was a tough fight. Um, 
luckily in the end it did not take most bullet it only took three attempts right i died twice yeah oh no i died twice so yeah three attempts so really i did not need to stop recording when i did but uh there you go there's a campfire nearby is uh yeah, not close enough i'm just gonna fast travel back here and now i'm out of fast travel packs so i'm gonna have to buy more this is a great game it really is I've just been up for days playing it. Well, I'll say up. <laughs> that is another quest done, guys. Yeah, I mean, look, they could just walk out that gap there. And they might even, with a bit of swinging in the cage, be able to land back on here. So, the massive... Mate. Yeah, look, you could have eat. I could, one could easily make that jump if they were in the cage. And weren't limited by game mechanics of having to be on a grippable surface. Okay, here's the way back up. <laughs> okay. Here we go then. Get our way back up. But yeah, no, you could easily make it. You could easily fit your way through that big hole inside and jump to the platform. Random platform. Get a strong color on this. Hunting grounds record. Who shall I beat it? Right, let's not fall down again. But yeah, no, you could definitely make that. Obviously, game mechanics have it so that you cannot grab the jump inside of it, but... Hey, right, look at that hole. You could walk through there and you could jump from here. Hey, you could maybe a stretch bend over and grab that log and pull yourself over a step. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cabo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cabo was injured oh, in the battle. Good thing we destroyed it. Aroke regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the lowland. So yeah. he he's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. All right then. Oh yeah, so it just rotated it to where the gap was visible. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you. Falls edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you, kindly. As soon as you're healed. I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cabo. To the winning side. <laughs> um, well, it turns out I apparently didn't finish the Core Root main quest. 
since that's the one that's auto come on so I need to oh right yeah no no I I just need to return to base okay no I thought sorry uh, no I thought base meant the grove but it doesn't it means you know the base my base Aloy's base because she never had a base in the first game at all, you was just sort of wandering around. I mean, I kind of claimed Cradle 9 as my base, and the area with Cyan as my base, but of course they weren't actually bases, right? I just, you know, considered them like, yeah, this seems like a place Aloy uh, would make a, a base until whenever. Hey, we have a motion right next to our base. That's lucky. Let's head on back to our base. Oh, no, I am loving this game, and I like how we've got a base now. A place we keep returning to, so that's good. Oh, this thing screen's taking longer than usual. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Okay. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good Let's listen to the rumor. I spotted a group of Osram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert near the southwestern border. I see. I reported, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. Oh. That's kind of you. Yeah. Hey, famous person. I saw some Osram the other day. I didn't report it to the proper authorities, though. I think they'll die with the storms. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, just a random thing for you to tell me. You should go to Plain Song, pick up that side quest over there, and see. What's up with the dire? Oh, and go to that other, the capital of the sand clan, or the desert clan, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's the shock bolt blaster and the frost warrior bow. Mm. I mean, the bolt blaster. So it's kind of like a rattler. Uh, the logo for the ammo is the same as the shock ammo for the rattler. So. Anyway, it's time to go up to our base. So a little camp, we've got a little nice little camp outside our base, which is good. This is our base, our headquarters, I love it. Maybe we should get some people in here to destroy this all the stalactites and malactites like or whichever oh, they are that's going inside. You're not waving a hand. <laughs> hey, I was trying to use a bagel. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Oh, it's a hard crumb, so. Trace the line to your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy. <laughs> okay. Barrett, you're all better. And you're here. That's good. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. Yeah, we've got four people here. You can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. 
<laughs> I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as possible. So we have four allies in here. In my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh oh, uh okay. <sighs> Those two. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. Ah, good. She headed for that Osaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Is your focus acting up again? Yeah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah, usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Oh, we've brought. Oh, they've gone and brought us supplies. Hey, they've gone and brought us some supplies and also a stool which they put a candle on. Mate, you could have used... They've brought some <laughs> supplies up, I wonder if... And they've brought in some decorations to our base. <laughs> looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it, yeah. So let's see, that looks... So here... So yeah, there are four different, like, bed areas. This area's had a curtain put up, I guess, so the guy can have privacy. Which one's this, do you think? Uh, let's figure out who, who's in which bay. So we've got four allies plus Aloy, but there's only four beds, but I guess Aloy's constantly on the move, so maybe she wouldn't be sleeping in one of the beds. I hope we discover an... They should have had a door here leading into, like, the master bedroom for, like, whoever's in charge. So who do you think is in this bay? There's nothing really suggesting who. This space suggests... I mean, these crates are, look like something I'd, I've also I make. And there's a whole lot of mugs for drinking. And there's a big beer barrel and a chest. So clearly... This is errand. Right? <laughs> like, this is errand, clearly. Um... Looks like we've got some Utaru rugs just stacked on top of each other in the corner there. And I guess they just haven't been moved. Uh, this. Tanakh. Maybe. I don't know. They, they said the guy appreciated the privacy. And there's a privacy, I guess, curtain. So I'd say Tanakh, maybe. Which leaves... This is either Val or Zoe's. And this is either Val or Zoe's. I'm assuming this is Katalo's side. And that's Erin's, that's for sure. I like the plants, which I'm going to see were brought in by the Uto, and those uh, towels, I'm pretty, I don't remember those towels being there a second ago. And there's like cardboard as if they've been unpacked from like a display. Are these showers functional? <laughs> Are they using the showers? <laughs> the old ones used holograms for everything. Yeah, they did. Let them experience. <sighs> Doors locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. I wonder if at some point. Ah, okay. And well, looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Excuse me. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. Oh, that's nice. I was thoughtful of them. So they've made a bed for me. And this is my desk. That's my bedroom. All right. I mean, they were right. Oh, I mean, I was just going on about having a private area. I've got one. I've got a training <laughs> dummy. Looks like the ones back in... The uh, sort of card response, so I'm gonna say that's owned. Oh, I've got a stash here, that's good, that's good. I am loving having a base of operations. So clearly, Zoe has come in with these wogs, and okay, it seems like that thing I said was multiple wogs stacked on top was not, because if that's what this wog looks like, that's just one wog, okay. This is awesome. 
I don't know why they had to move the chairs. Alright, two chairs. I guess they had to move the two chairs from there so I could have a nice little living bedroom. So I've got some rope. This is great. I'm loving this. <laughs> this is the rite of passage that Bashar gave me at the embassy. Ah. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. He did, I think he yeah. He was really looking forward to going home. Oh, is that just Gala's attack at the embassy? The marshals ambushed and surrounded, killed one by one. Reminds me of the massacre at the proving. Back in the sacred lands. So many lives wasted. And for what? Oh, hold on. Um We're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching. We'll finish exploring the new base, the new decorate, redecorated base in the next part. Uh, goodbye!